Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ria and in today's video I'm going to be doing a stash or trash. I've done a couple of these in the past and I thought I'd actually give this an official name on my channel rather than it just being like this random set of videos. Obviously this is a spin-off of the Samantha March Will I Buy series as well as the Angela Nykvist kind of like series on discussing new and upcoming makeup items and whether they are kind of worthy of being in your collection or not and why. And if you do like these videos and this series on my channel, then don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below as well as comment what new release that interests you the most or what release that makes you want to kind of throw it in the trash before it's actually been in your possession. And without further ado and further blabbing, let us hop right into this video. So the first product I want to be talking about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Brow Gel. And they have released 11 matte colors, which is quite a wide range to be honest. Usually brands would come out with like a dark, medium, medium light like for blondes and a clear brow gel but ABH does not play around with her brows so she came up with quite a lot of shades and they are for $18 and they also have minis which is 0.15 ounces and it is $9 which I find really really affordable if you want to try the product out I would definitely be wanting to purchase and stash it in my collection. The shades look absolutely beautiful and really, really pigmented. Sorry, I'm just like looking down at my phone. If you can get your hands on it, especially the mini trial, the mini is for like $9, why not? I think that, again, this is just a missing piece in the Anastasia Beverly Hills line and yeah. Also, speaking of Anastasia Beverly Hills, she's also releasing a Valentine's Day love collection, which I believe should have already been released or already is out because it's already past Valentine's Day, which includes six individual glitters, an individual um, glitter adhesive, and a heart shaped box. I think this is only available for a limited time only. These glitters, especially the hot glitters, look absolutely stunning. Glitters really do terrify me. I have a couple of goals this year to invest in glitters and learn how to play around with them as well as cool tone colors. So I definitely think these colors, if you're a glitter fan, these colors are absolutely beautiful. And I feel like they would complement kind of all the palettes that have come out, like the Novena, Sultry, um, Soft Glam, and Modern Renaissance. I feel like they complement them very well. For me, they would neither go in the stash nor trash. I feel like I would want to stash them, but I can't because I'm not quite there yet in my makeup journey. And that's okay. Eventually, if when I get to that stage, I would probably be really, really into any more glitters that she releases. Next up, we have the ColourPop Liquid Eyeliners. And they have come out with seven shades. Black, dark blue, green, red pink, yellow, and white. I am definitely going to be sashing this in my collection. I have a long-awaited Colourpop order that I'm just willing, like, I have been waiting for, like, a few more products to be released for me to, like, grab a whole bunch. Because if you get $50 worth of stuff, I believe that you get free shipping. And your girl lives for free shipping, so I'm definitely going to be picking these up. I'm probably going to be picking up the green, black, and blue because I feel like they're the more wearable shades. Adding that ish to my cart, ordering it in, and uh, possibly reviewing it for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like a review. 
you know your girl really counts on reviews so I mean if you're that type of person definitely let me know and I would love to do it next up are the Huda Beauty melted shadows these are I think the spring her spring collection they have just released and they have such oh my gosh these shades are absolutely beautiful and as you can tell I'm really into pastels at the moment so the blue one looks the minted one the limelight one and oh, actually all of them look really stunning yeah I'm definitely going to be stashing minted I'm not too sure about the green because I know that I don't know I love it but I don't think I'm bold enough to can you believe I find that the blue and the pastel purpley lavender is more wearable than the green and both of them are like just as pastel and I don't know what I'm thinking but I might pick up one of the three or maybe two of them and yeah the other two don't seem that unique enough to pick up I feel like I already have those others in my collection but I really want to try out the maybe the minted or the limelight color I might get the limelight try and push myself out of the comfort out of my comfort zone a little bit next up I am going to be throwing in the trash the fetish eyes mascara by Pat McGrath the only reason I'm putting it in the trash is because first of all I live for drugstore mascara and also high-end like your girl wears Lancome Hypnos like on the daily but I only wear that mascara when I'm not wearing my false lashes and usually I wear false lashes 99-90% of the time I could say I wear false the 10% I'm either like doing exercise or going for a walk or literally cannot be bothered but the other 90% of the time I'm wearing false lashes so maybe she released false lashes I might pick them up but mascara for $28 I I can get some for like 10 from the drugstore so I'm good I'm good with that next up we have some products from the Zoeva cosmetics spring 2019 collection I'm just gonna trash them in my eyes because I really want to try Zoeva cosmetics I feel like from what I've swatched in store they have the most beautiful eyeshadow quality but the thing is the color story just doesn't speak to me and neutrals with a pop of blue honey that is so 2018 we've gone way past that um i just want something a bit more interesting so yeah and i feel like this packaging is very underwhelming especially for a spring collection i want to see more color i would understand maybe if this was a fall or winter collection but seriously for a spring collection i'm a girl who loves a little bit of packaging wants to be entertained wants to be oud and odd you know you know you feel me i mean i'm pay if i'm paying so much for a product i want to be i want to be entertained i want to be experiencing something whether that be through the packaging or through the product i want to I want to feel like it's worth the dots, you know? And since this is for like what I believe would be like $50, around $48, $50, or 30, high 30s, $48, $50, trash it goes. Next up, we have a closer look at the Dior Makeup Summer 2019 collection. And this is the Backstage Palette in Amber and the new lip maximizers for me the lip maximizers look so beautiful like i honestly want to get all of them like i want to collect them so i got one of the lip maximizers in 001 love it live i treasured this I take this everywhere with me this is so beautiful and I've used this I got this like a month or two ago I still like haven't even gone halfway through it first of all it makes your lips look wet okay 
then it just makes you feel bougie, look bougie, and it's non-sticky. It gives you that slight plump without making you feel like, oh my gosh, my lips are on fire. Uh, I need to remove this immediately. This is so beautiful. The formula. This is clear. It looks like very deceiving and deceptive. But this is quite clear and wearable on any lip color. And it just transforms it to making your lips looking so juicy and delicious. So uh, I highly, highly recommend. So yeah, I definitely want to get all of the other lip maximizers. So I'm definitely going to be stashing that and uh, making it a collectible for me. And trashing the palette because I feel like I already have these colors if I'm gonna be honest with you and if I don't know I swear if they would have gotten rid of the second row and added a bit more ready tones as a personal preference I would have so bought it but I feel like it's a bit late and they're a bit late to the train Next up, I want to talk about the Sephora and Barbie collection. What is this? Fifty Shades of Beige? Are we really going there? Like, soup. the packaging is so deceiving. I wish that the palette included the colors that were on the packaging. I'm going to insert it here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But inside the palette is... It's so, so underwhelming and I'm so disappointed in this collection. I feel like by now with all these will I buy it and these type of videos, I feel like brands should really watch these videos and get an idea of what consumers really want. And I'm not saying that nude colors and neutrals are like bad in any means. Like I'm a girl. Okay, this might be a little bit deceiving, but like put more eyes. But on a daily basis, I am so into neutrals. I love it. I feel like it's very accessible. But this is like, there's no depth. There's no dimension within the palette. I feel like they could have really hit the nail on this if they just used the colors on the packaging inside the palette. I think people would live for it or maybe like, do that and add a few neutrals. I feel like that would have totally been possible, but they just missed it again. And I don't get why. Why? Why did they do this? They, it, this had so freaking much potential. Sephora, why? For the second last product, I'm going to be talking about the Fenty Beauty New Kilowatt Shades in Water Brat and Chills. I feel like Fenty Beauty really, really just nails every release. I feel like they should also slow it down slightly um, because there are way too many releases. Like, I was shocked and I'm like, already? Like, didn't they just release something like last week? I, I swear. Um, I am neither going to be stashing nor trashing this. I really do want to get and stash the highlighters because I'm I'm the girl that would want to use the water brat as like a blush topper and chills as a highlight. Um but I do know she has like a split pan of these two similar colours, maybe a bit lighter. So I think they're like eyeshadows and I feel like might as well get that instead of this. As for the stunner lip paints I still need to get my hands on a couple from the previous collection. So I'm going to keep this on hold for a second. But these colors look absolutely beautiful. And so relevant to the summer and spring. Um, so relevant to us, the summer and spring time. So I, I really commend her for really releasing... Uh, seasonally appropriate products and at the right time too. I just feel like she might want to slow it down a bit because um yeah it's becoming a bit too saturated if you know what I mean. And last but not least is the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection. Don't know I think I'm just gonna trash this because first of all I don't think you can get Wet n Wild in Australia and shipping 
I don't think they even ship here either. I can check, but I'm just gonna trash it because, yeah, I mean, I would love, see, the thing is, if Wet n Wild was more readily available, I think I can get it from off sites, but by the time it actually, the collection gets there, it's gonna be overpriced, probably doubled, and the shipping is gonna be like 13 to like $20, which I just don't feel is worth it. So I'm just going to put this in the trash straight away. The Rose Focus Primer Serum and then the from the three color icon eyeshadow squads, the one with the green and red eyeshadow, I'll put it up here. I think that looks absolutely stunning. I just wish it was available in Australia to be easily accessible because to get my hands on like a single Wet n Wild product, it's a mission and a half, ladies and gentlemen, and sometimes your girl just does not have the time to do that. Yeah, I think that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I love you guys with all my heart. If you guys want to see more videos like this for me or any other videos, definitely suggest them in the comments down below and let me know what products you would like to stash or trash don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below i love you guys with all my heart and i'll catch you my beautiful best friends in the next video bye